fridge is getting bare. Be time to go shopping. Uh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Good morning! What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher and welcome on back to the top down in the garage. Drinking the coffee today. Hope you guys are having an excellent morning. Gonna be about 104 degrees today, so I'm out here early. AM's Sunday, getting this review, which I don't even call it a review, I'm not a reviewer. Getting my final take on this beautiful but crazy knife that brother Josh Branson sent into the channel to check out. So first things first, we got to shout out Josh because uh, it's, it's people sending things into the channel that help the channel out, right? Like I can't afford to buy everything, you know? So you guys are awesome when you send stuff in because that helps us keep content rolling, keep, keep things going. Uh, you guys are a godsend. It's it's an amazing thing, and I want you all to know that um, we 100% appreciate it and uh, love you guys for it. Absolutely, man. Josh is the man. Thank you for sending this in. So, this is the Artisan Eterno ATZ. And as you can see, it has a lightning ano. It is carbon fiber onlays. Uh, it's a full titanium frame lock. It does have a milled anode clip, so it's titanium. Uh, it is a flipper, but it does have a beautiful fuller down it. And it, it is a kind of crazy cool blade shape. We're gonna talk about that definitely way more ergonomic than what I thought when I originally looked at it. So let, let's give you the specs first here. Uh, overall length is 8.46 inches or 215 millimeters. Blade length 3.54 inches or 90 millimeters. Blade thickness is 0 0.15 or 3.8 millimeter. Uh, this is a factory finish here, but it has been modded with acid flaps here. Or acid wash on the, on the blade, but factory finish on the flat. Uh, blade grind is, it is a flat grind. <clears throat> they call it a drop point, I guess, because it drops from here. It's kind of a modified sheep's foot. Um, kind of weird, really. Uh, this is upswept and then it drops. So we're just gonna stick with the drop point. Closed length's 4.9 inches or 125 millimeter. Um, the material obviously is titanium. This is S35VN, runs on ceramic ball bearings, uh, weighs 5.4 ounces or 135 grams, and it is a frame lock knife. Okay, so I've been carrying this knife for um, about two weeks, pretty close to two weeks. And I got to say, I'm impressed with it. I'm impressed with it. This is a full-on working usable. I mean, all knives are working usable for the most part. Um, ergonomics back here is good. Ergonomics using the flipper choil, I love, right? Like if, if we could just turn this into a full choil, I'd, I'd be even more in love. But I really like this. Very good. Um, can't beat it in my opinion. Now, Josh, he sends it in and he's like, use it, do whatever you want with it, keep it for however long you want, which is 100% appreciative. Um, 
if you need to sharpen it, sharpen all that. And I, I, I felt it and I've used it and I'm telling you, I don't need to sharpen it, man. This thing is still after use. This thing is sharp, right? Like might have a little burr. No, I think it's just the paper. Just Yeah, this thing is, it's sharp, man. It's, I don't need to sharpen that, bro. Uh, plenty sharp enough for me. I don't need a mirror edge. I just like working edges for the most part. Uh, mirror's cool and everything, uh, but I'm a, I'm a working edge kind of guy. If it's gritty, teasy, toothy, ready to catch you open, that's what I like. Uh, I did carry this, and I have to say that I was impressed on how it went in and out of pocket. At first, when I seen this clip, uh, it looks like it's been a little bent, just maybe a tiny bit right here. Um, it was that way when I got it. But it this thing goes in and out of pocket extremely well. Now, it's not deep carry. You're going to have that much hanging out of pocket. It didn't bother me. Uh, I do like deep carry, but this, this was fine. It was completely fine. And with the shape, I seemed to put my hand in my pocket. I felt it occasionally, but nothing too major. I mean, it is a larger a larger knife so um the flipper works pretty good detent is not the strongest but not the worst like it's not bad at all um i think it works well could i fail it yeah i mean i'm pretty sure anybody can fail most knives uh, nobody tries if it flies out um, i like the reverse flick i like that fuller i think the fuller works flawlessly honestly um i haven't had a problem i haven't missed it yet uh the, the flipper tab works good yeah uh, it, it's not it's not completely drop ship but it's definitely a one shake kind of thing and it falls uh it's really close as a matter of fact i think a good cleaning probably and maybe a little oil on the uh detent ball and it's probably gonna drop so let me put a let me put a little dab here kpl heavy if you guys don't use kpl i mean i like kpl it seemed to work great for me if you guys want to check out kpl's cleaning products their oil products i do not have a code with them i wish i did i don't um but you could use lefty 10 over there i believe it's code lefty 10 for me uh lefty edc and and as you guys can see this is not milled um which is why it's it's 5.4 ounces right it's not super heavy but it's heavy some people draw the line five's too heavy you know what i'm going to do is uh you can see the detent ball right there i'm just going to put a drop of kpl heavy on the detent ball and I'll probably just get the drop already into the tip. Heavy is pretty, pretty thick. Put it on there like that. And what we do is we just work it just to hear. Oh, yeah. That, and. Uh, it, it, it's, it'll be drop shut. I can guarantee you, it work in a little bit more, it'll become drop shut. You won't have a problem with it. Um, that's the detent ball. There's no, I mean, it doesn't really need a ramp. It kind of pops over pretty easy, but that's pretty far when you're looking at it. Um, I haven't actually had a problem. Most of the time it falls. The reason it's not falling, I'm holding the lock bar, but most of the time it's there and there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. I think it's a fantastic uh, bigger knife. You guys have to have to want to be bigger knife guys, right? Like this is a bigger knife. It's a unique shape, but it's a very ergonomic, um, which I, I am, I'm impressed with, right? Like I like Best Tech. I mean, I have Best Tech knives. Um, this one's for sale. That is the Mastiff. Probably one of my favorite best tech knives of all time right there. Um, but this is good. I really dig this. Uh, I dig the pivots. I've always dug best tech pivots. Some people think that's 
a swastika. It's not a swastika. It doesn't even look like a swastika. Uh, people need to do history. Uh, anyway, uh, get a little background for you guys. By the way, Artisan Cutlery is an American company. It's just not an American made knife, but it is an American company. Um, anyway, this thing is pretty sweet, man. I, honestly, I, um, it got a huge spot for the lanyard. Like that's, I'm not a lanyard guy. I could live without that huge spot. Got your normal backspacer that they always put artisan cutlery right on the backspacer. Um, fantastic blade, really. I don't, I, you know, another knife that I never tried. I thought it looked kind of odd, but honestly, this is really good in hand. Like it, here, it's extremely comfortable. Here, it's extremely comfortable. Um, no hot spots. All the edges are nice and champered. Uh, Artisan Cutler knew, knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They make, a, they make a quality product. Sometimes it's off, but not on these. I, uh, lock bar lockup is good. It's uh, literally sitting there. Uh, it's a little early, it looks, but it's actually like 30%. So that's kind of average. Um, awesome knife, man. Really is. You know, it's got your little kind of group for your finger relief. So when you're flicking it, uh, this knife, I feel works better as a push button, in my opinion. I don't know why. Uh, it's okay as a light switch. It works, but you push button that, it seems like it just flies out. Right? I, I love these carbon fiber onlays. It feels really comfortable in hand, both left and right. No hot spot. Um, can I flick it left-handed? Yeah, I probably could. I'm a little on that lock bar. If this covered the lock bar, I'd probably be, probably be all over. Yeah, yeah, probably be all over it. But um, awesome knife, guys. If if you guys want to check one out, I think they're still available. I looked on the side; it looked like you could still get one. It's Artisan Eterno ATZ, badass knife. Um, again, huge shout out to Josh Branson. Thanks for sending that in, brother. Thanks for letting me check it out. Uh, I'll, I'm going to get it shipped out this week to you. And uh, I hope everybody's been having an awesome week. Awesome weekend. It's been hot as hot can be. I hope if you're hot where you're at, you guys are staying cool, staying hydrated. Um, yeah. Get out there. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. And I catch you guys in the next one.